after we make something like this, which is a cube with uh, these nice corrugations along it. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, and the answer is, of course, we use plugins. So, um, well, that's one solution anyway. So we're going to use plugins. And uh, the plugins that we're going to use, or the main one that we want, is uh, this one here called um, from Art Sphere, and it's called Extrude Plus. Okay, and um, you can see that it does all this sort of magic here with a tube, and uh, that's what we want it for. And the other one is um, from Pictrix, and it's called um, PX Bezier and it comes in 64-bit and 32-bit and um, we don't actually need this plugin but uh, for today's tutorial but I'm gonna I like it because it, I like using it um, but we're just really using it to create a curve which you can do inside of LightWave anyway but um, um, but this is a great plugin because it does so much more than create curves okay so well now um, we're going to open a new object and create this. Okay, so I'm going to go File, New Object, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create a curve, and I'm going to use, um, like I said, I'm going to use this other plugin, which I've got uh, down here somewhere, PX Bezier, and I'm just going to create a curve. So you can obviously do this with um, LightWave's native uh, Bezier tools. Uh, also just one thing no to note here is that I've got very few divisions on my curve and that's by design. Um, I don't need a lot of these segments so um, that'll just add more geometry which I don't want. And I'm just going to uh, change up the curve a little bit just to make it a little more interesting so it's not just lying uh, flat on the floor there. Okay so that looks pretty good. I think that'll do. The next step is I need to create the shape that's going to extrude along the curve. So I'm just going to create a box, create box, and holding down Control so that it uh, becomes a perfect square. Uh, I create a little box there, a little flat plane. I should say it's not a box as such. It's just a single flat polygon like that, and I'm going to line it up. Uh, with the curve because it's going to extrude along it so I'm going to move it uh, to a good place which would be at the either beginning or end of this uh, curve so I put it there it's more or less centered looks pretty good and I'm just going to rotate it uh, so that it's sort of facing in the direction general direction of the curve that it's going to extrude along I think that helps to do that um, which obviously probably means it should also be rotated on that angle as well, I guess, because the actual curve does um, swing down like that. Okay, so uh, there we go. Now, two things about this plugin that we're just about to use is that once you activate it, you no longer have any interactivity in the viewport here, so you can't zoom in or rotate just to have a, to examine your object. So for that reason, I'm going to um, zoom in to the object um, and get a nice angle on it, so that uh, you know I can see what's going on with the with the object. And um, that's a, I'm getting in close, basically, is what I'm saying. So I'm getting a nice uh, camera angle on there. I think that's probably about where I want it. Maybe like this, okay? And um, and the other thing too is for this plugin to work is you have to have both of these selected. So um, you want to be in polygon mode and you need to have both layers selected. And you just have to select both objects. Okay, so we're about ready to go here. Um, again, I'm just going to rotate my view to get as best view on this as possible. In fact, I don't need to see the whole object. I just want to sort of see a close-up section of it. So I'm just going to sort of get to about there. Okay, so now <coughs> with these two objects selected, we're going to go to Utilities because this is where you're going to find uh, the plugin. 
and um, it's not going to be well I don't find it down in here because it's actually a script so you'll find it under scripts don't uh, <coughs> don't activate it using L script use L script RT okay so you'll get an error well I get an error if I use L script so L script RT click on this and uh, there's the the uh, script is called AS extruder plus click on this and open it up let it do its stuff just wait here it comes so as I said you have no interactivity once this is opened up which is bad for me because I actually wanted to be looking from the other direction here so I'm going to cancel this okay and um, rotate my view back this way go to L script RT click on it let it run and that's the view I want and you can see it's you know what it's done here now I'm going to turn on sub patch okay and I'm going to bring my sub patch levels from 10 which it defaults to I'm going to bring those down to 3 okay because uh, 3 should be enough okay so I click on sub patch and you've got this nice tube sub patched tube and um, just just to show you something uh, if you click on pipe mode down here you get a pipe uh, which of course means more geometry because it's got an interior which um, in this case I'm not going to need so I'm going to turn that off and the other thing you'll see here is make UVs where you can click on this and type in a UV name well don't waste your time this part of the plugin doesn't work um, he does say on the website that uh, regarding this uh, script that not all uh, options are functional and that's one of them I guess so um, so um, if you want to do a UV along here you'll, you'll have to use another plugin from Pictrix which was uh, you know this guy um, he's got a plugin called uh, PX UV Creeper which is uh, an excellent plugin for creating the very type of UV that you'd want for a long length of tube like that okay so again plugins very useful okay so the next step here is to create the ribs that's the whole point of this tutorial so we're going to click on the ribbing a tab here and turn this on well we're not turning it on we're going to select an option and the option for me is going to be square you can see there's other ones you can experiment with these I'm going to choose square basically these are just uh, the profile of the um, of this little rib okay um, and so you can see you've got spacing and you've got offset and you've got uh, width and offset is gonna uh, is how much these stick out from the surface so increasing that number will make the <coughs> ribbing uh, more pronounced and uh, width will will make these wider so um, that's good that's what you want for for this kind of thing you know like a I guess like a um, vacuum hose or something you know like an air conditioner hose or something like that so that's about that's pretty much it really um, this is prob probably the end of the tutorial now um, except uh, I just want to show you spacing so if you play with spacing um, but I'll put that back to one, okay? Because you know that was the whole point was to make a sort of corrugated tube, and I'll click OK now because I'm done here. This error message comes up, but don't worry about it; doesn't seem to matter. So click OK, and you'll see we have our geometry now. The viewports become interactive again. We have our um, geometry the way we want it, and we also still have our our. Um, primary objects that made this up the um, and the curve and the, and the polygon there so if you if you didn't like this for whatever reason you've still got the uh, elements that made it up so creating this doesn't destroy the elements that made it up so that's another good thing about it because sometimes plugins do that you know the um, they'll destroy the, the building 
blocks of the um, object. So this one doesn't do it. It's non-destructive in a way. And uh, the other thing which I didn't mention is that when the when the box was up there, when the UI was up there for the for the script, there was an option for saving the settings. So you could save those these settings that create this look. Um, you can actually save those settings if you want to apply it to other cubes, you know, which is another great thing about that plugin. So anyway, um, I'm not sure how you'd go about making this without the plugins. But since the plugins are there, it makes the job a little easier, so you should use them. And, um, and that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.